Elsewhere, the debate on whether to reopen schools or not has gained momentum and continues to gain momentum in the country with different stakeholders in the education sector seemingly differing. Andrin Kilemi tells us why. The golden unanswered question which lingers in every Kenyan mind is whether it is the right time for schools to reopen. This, even as Kenyans wait to hear from the Education Response Committee, which was mandated with the planning and reorganizing of the school calendar. Different stakeholders in the education sector have differed. Deputy Chairman Kupet Kakamega Branch says it is about time that pupils and students went back to class as most girls are at a risk of falling pregnant at an early age. On the other hand, Kupet Chairman Transoya County says that school is of less importance as compared to good health. Let's not make exams to be so important um, uh, 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 compared to life. Because without this life, we will not be there to teach, we will not be there to learn. It is a statement that was supported by Nat Secretary in Bungoma East, who was also warned against reopening of schools for fear that this would increase the rate at which COVID-19 is spreading in the country. Watoto wetu kama hii ugonjwa bato inaendelea na muna hivi. We must not allow our children to go to school. Here in Nairobi, the few parents we spoke to said keeping students at home for long is a waste of time when they could be in school learning and adhering to the guidelines by the Ministry of Health. Zifunguriwe. Because hata saa hii watoto bado wanaranda rada kwa barabara na hata na hata hawavai mask. Sifunguriwe lakini wafugue na awamu. Kwa mfano, hawa watoto wakubwa ni tofauti sana na hawa wadogo. Tuseme kama mtu wako class 8, sio the same na mwenye wako nasale ama pipi 1 hivyo. Kwa hivyo wageanza na hawa wakubwa. And if schools were to reopen today amidst the COVID-19 pandemic, what would this mean to the education sector? Eh, kurudi shuleni na wanakwamba kutahitajika kuwe na mikakati ya kutosha hasa katika zile sheria za kutunza eh, eh, uh, hali ya afya kwa mfano ile hali ya eh, kuweka nafasi eh, ya mita moja ama mita mbili eh, kule kunawa eh, kule ku eh, Eh, kule kutangamana itakuwa ni shida pia katika kupata nafasi ya kutosha kwa sababu eh, shule nyingi zina matatizo kwa mfano ya maji kwa hivyo itabidi kuwe na mpango wa kuwa na maji ya kutosha katika kila shule na kuwe na vifaa vya kuwezesha wanafunzi wanapoingia labda waweze kupimwa Kwenye, eh, kabla wajaingia shuleni. And even as education stakeholders continue to differ, all eyes are now on the nine-member education committee to chart a way forward in the reopening of schools. Andrin Kilemi for TV 47.